up my beautiful people welcome back to another video with your girl pamela janani welcome back to my channel my guys my beautiful people my guys my loves all right you know what i got some energy today okay i got some energy god is great and i didn't even take my 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 you know my my green vitamins that gives me a boost i didn't even take those yet okay but i have energy okay i am pumped up with the word of god i am pumped up because god and jesus christ are so with me okay and i'm telling you that they are with you as well they love us so much and you are definitely loved and protected all right with that being said, subscribe to your girl's channel. Get your girl to uh, 1K and beyond, okay? We can do this. Let's stand up for God. Let's stand up for God's people, okay? Let's stand up for each other, right? So, a lot of people are going nowhere without God. Mm-hmm. They're going nowhere without God. And you know what? It's sad that a lot of people think that they can go anywhere, everywhere. They can do whatever they want without God, without the creator, without the person that created them, okay? It's, it's, really, it's really unfortunate. Let's tap into it, right? As much as people try, okay, you won't go anywhere without God. As much as they try, put that over there, you will never go anywhere without God, okay? In order to be anything good, true in this life and after, okay, you must be connected to God. That is it. You, you can't do anything, okay? You can do things, but you're never going to go anywhere, okay? And Satan will make people think that they're going somewhere, that they got a lot on their plate, like, mm, things are going good, okay? Until, until God is like, you know what? Time's up, okay? I keep letting you play with Satan, all right? And then you're trying to play with me at the same time. You got to choose. You cannot be over there and then come back over here. You can, okay? And he gives us mercy to do so. He gives us mercy to make mistakes, but you cannot keep playing the fence. OK, you cannot go where God is going to make things all blissful for you. OK, and then you're attached to Satan. All right. You can't. You have to be with God. And that if you are a certain age, OK, you are over the age of 16 and you keep playing the fence with Satan and God. Time is going to be up for you. OK, God cannot keep doing things for people that are not serving him, that are being wicked. OK, he can't keep doing it. OK, he wants to have mercy. He does have mercy on us all. OK, but there's comes a time when people are doing too much. OK, people are mocking God. People are talking about God. People are not being bold and, and speaking up for God and God's people. OK, there comes a time when the time is up. The mercy is no more. It's empty. All right, let's go. Um, so you must be obedient, kind, humble, and believe in spiritual and physical law. And that is a problem that is going on with a lot of people. They are not believing in the spiritual and the physical law. Okay. There is a law spiritually and physically. Okay. You must, you know, stand by both of them. You must, you know, it's the same thing. If you do something wrong here on earth, you go to jail, you get reprehend, you get in trouble, right? It's the same thing with spiritual, okay? You do wrong, you are going to face a judge, which is God, okay? God provided us with police officers and real judges and like here, in the, you know, judges like court, right? But God is the real judge of everything, physical and spiritual. But when you do some things that are really, really harsh in the spiritual, that is when you know that you are about to face judge. You are about to face the creator, okay? And when I say you do not want to go forth towards God, okay, with wicked ways and wicked sins, and then you don't have any excuse for what you've done. That is, you're going to be, you're, be scared, all right? Be scared. Okay, let's go here. You can have material without God. Absolutely. You can have a lot without God. You can have the car. You can have the clothes. You can have the status. You can have everything that you want without God. You can. You can. Absolutely. Right? Let's keep going here. Um, but you will never have peace. You will never have a peace of mind. Absolutely not. And at any given point, that is going to be taken away from you. God is not going to let all of the wicked people be live this lavish lifestyle, okay? God provides mercy even to the wicked. So if you see them living this lifestyle that is just popping, right? He provided mercy to them, okay? But there a, comes a time when he is going to strip that away. And Satan has nothing to do with what is going to happen. Satan can't touch God. Satan cannot touch God, okay? So Satan is definitely going to sit back, watch what happens to your enemy, and move to the next, okay? You cannot have peace okay? If you are rocking with Satan, okay? Never. You can't go anywhere without God. Most importantly, you will never have peace without God, okay? Your mind will be everywhere. Your mind will be chaotic. You will never be happy because all that's that's maintaining you is the material, superficial things, okay? God is not superficial, okay? God looks at our heart. God looks at how we treat people before he looks at the labels that you have on your back, all right? Let's go. Um, If you lack 
okay, as a believer, a lesson is in that, okay? And what I'm saying, for, for me, I already know this, okay? If you see yourself lacking in something, and it could be financially, it could be in love, if you see yourself lacking, God is telling me to tell you that there is something that you're missing. You're missing something in what is going on in your life, and he wants you to pay attention to what that is, okay? He wants you to come to him so that you can figure out what is making you lack, okay? Because it's not him. He's not holding anything back from his people. We are holding things back from ourselves by by um, by hanging around a certain crowd, by not listening and learning the lesson okay the moment we learn the lesson that is when our life is going to change okay be in obedience and learn the lesson and watch your life change okay let's go um a lesson is in everything okay a lesson is in everything okay so that we do not do it again okay we are to repeat repent okay and change 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 is necessary when you learn, okay, and you take that big step of faith, okay, when you learn and you finally take that big step of faith, life-altering changes, right, for the good. Um, nothing is perfect. No one is perfect. Absolutely not. But when we have to meet the criteria of God, okay, he deserves it. God is saying, meet my, meet my, my expectations, okay? God wants us to be happy. He wants us to be peaceful. He wants us to be loving. He wants us to have it all, okay? What, what, what are we fighting for? What are we fighting off God for if God just wants the best for us, all right? This is why we have to, yes, God, what do you need me to do? What do you want me to say? What do you want me to, I got you, God, okay? It's what we should be doing, all right? Um, let people dig holes for themselves, okay? Always tell yourself, always tell yourself, okay? Um, it's easy to be corrupt. It's easy to just go out and be wicked. I went to the drive-thru today with my kids, okay, to get my kids something, right? Went through the drive-thru, right? This woman was very, very wicked, very, 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 very evil, very, very nasty, right? And I'm just like, okay, you know what? It's normal to have a bad day. She may not want it to be at work, but it is not cool to be wicked and unkind to someone who has been kind to you. And this is why when you have peace with God, that woman didn't irritate me. Anybody that is disrespectful to me, anybody that is rude to me, anybody that is nasty to me, I do not um, give them the same energy back. I give them my energy back. I never let anyone alter my energy, okay? And that is when you have peace. When you can do that, that is how you know you have peace with God, okay? Nobody can nobody can touch your energy, right? Um, so, yes. So, a lot, always tell yourself that, you know, I already said that. That is what the wicked does instead of face the truth. The wicked doesn't face truth, okay? This is why they think that they're going somewhere, but they're never going anywhere without God. You cannot go anywhere. This is God's world. Why do people think that they can do and they can live anywhere in God's world and do anything that they want? That's my baby. Um... But they're mental is they're they're mentally miserable. Okay, I don't care what it is that your enemies are displaying. Once again, they are mentally not in peace. Okay, you do not have peace being wicked. At, not at all. All right, they cannot sleep at night. Okay, and a lot of them have to take some kind of a substance. They have to do drugs or alcohol. They have to hang around wicked people, Jezebels, because they don't have peace. You never need to be surrounded by anything but God when you are at peace. Okay, everything else is a bonus. All right. So that is it, guys. You can't go any, anywhere without God. But everybody that is connected to God, you are going to take off this year. You are going to take off this year and beyond, okay? Everything that is in store for you is going to happen and so much more, okay? Love you guys so much. Subscribe to your girl's channel. Give your girl, okay, a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys later. Love and life. Bye.